I need to check now that I'm starting at the right spot. There's my set of three trebles on this side and this side. And three trebles. Three. Four. <laughs> I have actually woven in some of the ends so they don't bother me here, but that's still there. So again, hook off and in through there and join like that. Then chain five. Then a slip stitch uh, into the middle one of the three trebles in the previous row. There. And then I'm going to make an overlay treble. Yarn over and then I'll attach the treble to the previous row from the front. Like that. And chain two and a second treble into the same stitch below. Like that, so these are sort of in front of the previous row there. And I attach it to the top of the treble in the previous row, the middle one. Slip stitch. Then again, chain five. Five. And here, where there's this here loop in the corner, I'll make another one of these raised trebles. So four trebles. Three. Four. Uh, and then I attach them and continue just like here. Here we are. This hero, so there's four corners, each with this sort of a raised set of trebles. And now I attach it, this again to the start of the row with the slip stitch. Like that. And again, I I'm not going to cut the yarn here because we need it again soon. But there's the yellow row in between. So what what you do for the yellow one, there's uh, double crochets in here and then there's two trebles underneath this one so it shows through there. So we start here and uh, I'm leaving the end of the yarn inside my stitches. Uh, six double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Then chain one and two trebles at the back of this here. There. One. Two. Like that there. And cha uh, chain one. And then six double crochets again. Six. And then for the corner, uh, a loop of four chain stitches. One, two, three, four. Okay, I'll do that one again. So six, I'll go a bit faster here now. And then chain one and uh, yarn over. You put the hook behind 
the lilac one and in front of the purple pink one into the same stitch where that was and so that there pink one stays in between these stitches. like that and chain one and six and then a loop of four chain stitches again till the end of the row. So here I am at the end of the row and uh, this is the last corner and I attach this wool here and actually then I cut it and finish it off. pull it through and then next we are going to make this here row so it has another loop again and then just start in this here corner. I'm picking up the lilac thread or yarn from previous row and attaching it in here just making chain stitch there. I need to have eight trebles in here without anything in between. So this is again a chain for the first treble and then actually I'm taking this here yarn in here so I don't need to cut it. <laughs> eight trebles. Is that five? One, two, three, four, five, yeah. Six, seven, eight. Then chain three. And attach it there. One, two, three, fourth of these ones. Um, hip stitch. Then chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then again, one, two, three, fourth from that end from the corner and a slip stitch there. And chain three. And again, then trebles into this here corner. So eight again into this here loop in the corner. So it's just this chain three, chain eight, chain three and eight trebles around the whole row. And we are this far. And then again I attach just, okay, I cut the thread, cut the yarn but don't pull it through. And then next we have two more rows to do. And first we do the blue one and start here. So we need these corners and then these here trebles. But we don't attach this yet. It will be attached at the last row. So I'm taking the new yarn again and uh, I'll be making the next lot of trebles in between the previous trebles. Not into the stitches on top of them. So first the yarn through the gap between two trebles and then pull the yarn and through the stitch of the previous row and again I use the two strands for the first stitch and then two more stitches to form the first treble but then on top of that we need also these here picots in the corner. They are very small ones just with two chain stitches. So uh, I'll continue this one two so that will make five and I put the hook into the third stitch one two three from the hook and pull the yarn through and then straight through. So a slip stitch and then up into the next gap between two walls 
and then again a pico uh, chain two. With this sort of small picots, I normally put the yarn through here, these here loops, and then pull straight through those two and here. But it doesn't matter exactly how you make the pico as long as you make one. Then straight away from there again a treble in between two trebles on the previous row and again a pico. One, two, hook through there, yarn through all the loops. So I continue like this here. I will make seven because the previous row has eight and I'm making them into the gaps in between so that will make seven. So here's my corner with seven trebles and picots in between and then I need to chain three and uh, then I'll have six trebles behind this here one but now I'll pull it away from there from my way and then six trebles here using only the back loop of the previous row. So six ordinary trebles. Two, three, four, five, six, And then in the next row, this here will go in front. And then three chain stitches. And then I'll do the other corner just like this one. So first a treble into the gap between the first and the second. And then a pico and so on. Here we are at the end of the row. All four corners done. And then I attach this in here and uh, make an extra stitch, cut it and pull through. And then we have one more row to do. The last row looks like this. You attach the loops and there's a pico and then just stitching over the corner. First you need a stitch. I normally just twist and make it like that there. And uh, that goes behind this. So I'm putting the hook in through this here hole and my stitch behind it and tighten like that. And then I start making chain stitches by keeping the yarn at the back the hook in the front and uh, and put the hook in between two trebles and then pull from there through and then you need to pull it a bit so it doesn't tighten the work and then again through here just pulling straight through And the last one there and then to get a bit closer to here I'll make one more chain stitch in there and then I continue the method chain stitches but now the yarn comes from behind this here chain and uh, this is a pico now one two three I make these picots with three chain stitches the other ones were with two and then I go back to this and pull through and then a double crochet to attach it here and then four chain stitches and then you take this loop put the hook underneath it and go in between the middle trebles here the third and the fourth like that and make a tight double crochet there so that attaches 
this here. And then continue. One, two, three, four. And then the other pico, double crochet. One, two, three chain. And attach it here. Double crochet. And then start going over the corner again. First a chain into the space there and then just the same as before. And so on. So one of the things done here. And then you continue like this to the end of the row. So here I am at the end of the last row. And then I just attach the last stitch there. And here it's done. Great. So there's many things you could use them for, like a cushion cover, or an afghan, or a baby blanket, bedspread, cardigan, bag, whatever. <laughs> they can also be crocheted together on the last two rows, if you prefer. But hope you'll have fun with them.